Time to work on detail number two. So hopefully, I'll give you a quick shot here. Try to hold it still. Basically, you can uh, pause the video, write it all down. Um, or at any point, um, if you want a copy, you can just print off and take out to the shop with you. Go over to my website at bexarmory.com and I will have a link and you can download these um, for a super tiny price. Um, I think it's gonna be 99 cents. And basically, um, that's just your way of giving me a tip. <laughs> you can think of it as like the waiter at the restaurant. Um, not making a fortune off these, um, just any little bit helps because this does cost a lot. And I'm sure you know because you're in the process, you're doing it, you're buying all this metal and stuff. So that helps out a lot. All right, let's get going with this piece. Okay, so you can see this piece here is the main platen. Now, uh, I got this, picked this up as a scrap piece and I already had a little cutout. This was a drop from work. Um, my day job, I'm a machine designer. And one of the machines I designed, you know, this was left over. Well, part of it was. I did cut it this way on the bandsaw. And I didn't want to take the time to cut it that way on the bandsaw. I figured I'll just take that off with the grinder. So mine is not going to look like the print. And yours doesn't have to either. The only thing that really matters is the hole locations, right? So we are going to work out those hole locations. So you can see I'm a little short here. Let's see, what do I got? Okay, I do have 20 inches, but the front's cut off. So clearly, this has to be the front because up here, you know, I've got a notch taken out. So I'm just going to take this one rubber foot and I'm going to move it back here somewhere. Okay, and you could do the same thing. Um, this is my motor uh, bolt pattern, mounting pattern. So if yours is different, um, the C holes will need to be changed to match your motor. Now these, the A-holes, they will need to match uh, the print because there is another drawing that bolts on there. So let's go ahead and start laying this out. Where's my zero? Oh, let's see. Gotta rotate it around. So for you guys, this is upside down, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll rotate the video when I edit it. So that's zero.
Okay, so. Got the base plate done. So that is the end of detail two. I don't know how much of that I got on camera. I know most of it I fast forwarded through, um, but we're gonna take it one piece at a time. This was done 100% by hand. Um, no mills or anything like that. So that's what we got for this go around. And now it's on to detail number three.